If there are no startling new designs this year at the Fanbrae air display, that may well be good news. It means that the industry's basic ideas are proving sound and that it can concentrate on grooming the winners it has already picked. Here is the Folland Nat, a small but powerful fighter, and the plane which captured the world record last March with a speed of 1,132 miles an hour, the Ferry Delta II. The latest Western helicopter, the Widgeon, normally carries four passengers, but it can be quickly converted into a flying ambulance for two stretchers and a nurse. Engines are emphasized at this year's show. For as America becomes more jet-minded, competition grows keener, and the British industry must be constantly on its toes to hold the position it has won. The huge Falcon bomber, with its 99-foot wingspan, makes a striking contrast with the fairy lightweight helicopter, a tiny craft which is extremely maneuverable. Here's the Bristol Type 173 tandem rotor helicopter and the Saunders Row Skeeter Mark 6 two-seater, demonstrating that there just isn't anywhere it can't land. And anywhere it can land, it can take off. Next to hold the crowd's attention are the Canberras, which are made in several different versions for bombing, reconnaissance and other duties. This is the Night Intruder, recognizable by its offset cockpit. The Hunter two-seater, adapted from the famous fighter, has an ejector seat for each occupant. The Folland Nat is a fifth of the weight of the Hunter and half its size, but it's still about twice as fast as the operational fighters of the last war. The single-seater Hunter, which can carry rockets or bombs as well as its four guns, is in RAF service and has been ordered by Belgium, Denmark, Holland, Sweden and Peru. A famous plane and a famous pilot. The Fairy Delta II with Peter Twiss at the controls. It was Twiss who flew her to break the world speed record. And she is still the fastest plane in the world to take off under her own power. With such achievements, our aircraft industry needn't fear the future.